Hey everyone, today I'm here at this very rusty creek. There's a lot of iron in this water. This is for a storm drain. The end of that is pretty busted. Great orange water. Coming out of that pipe. That pipe has a lot of rot. This pipe doesn't look too good. That does not look good at all. Some bad damage on the end, and that's probably why the water is so orange. Because of this thing. Look at all the spider webs. I can see a wall down there where this thing goes around a corner. Okay, I'm back. I just had to go get some taller boots because the ones I just had were not tall enough for what was inside that pipe. And I took a few steps into the entrance and I just got it soaked. Okay, here we go. This looks like a three foot pipe. Let's check this out. See these things here? Where they painted it with tar? Those are rubbing against the top of my head. I'm wearing a hat. Pleasant. Oh, they ended. They must have just repainted that there. I hear running water. The bottom of the pipe, like a foot, is filled with mud. So that reduces the headroom that I got in here. See right here, we got some rust that's probably coming from the ground. See it dripping? So this pipe is not that bad. There's a little bit of rust at the joints, but other than that, it's okay. Water just got really deep. Whoa, you heard that? It's really scared me. That is a loose manhole cover that you just heard. That's really gonna scare me when I get down to that part. These rocks are hard to get over. It really reduce your head room. What's the situation? Can we go further? Well, that's the end. I tell you, there's no way I'm going in there. That's the manhole cover where the car ran over. Got a Macy's bag in here. I'm turning around. Now, I'm going over those rocks again. Ah, uh, nasty. Nasty, nasty, I just touched that. It's just rust, but it's thick like peanut butter. The stuff dripping from the cracks. Oh, I just got over the rocks. Finally, a deep spot that I can stretch my legs in. Got more of that stuff. Okay, this pipe's not as bad as I thought. 
I thought that nasty orange down here in the river was coming from this pipe. There's no way this pipe made the entire river orange like that. No way. There's actually signs a little bit further down in the park that this leads to saying not to play in the water, that it's rust contaminated. I don't think playing in rusty water would hurt you, but who would want to? See what I did? I just stirred up some stuff coming out of the pipe. That'll take a little while to clear up. So this pipe goes down to a junction right there in the road. The big pipe goes across the street. That's the one handling the stream. The really small pipe in front of me was just for storm water. Look at this rotten pipe. It used to be pouring out here, and now it's pouring out here. You see how the bottom all rotted out? Most likely caused by road salt. You can see the galvanization and tar didn't do anything. But also, just by the design of this, the way it's made, I can tell this pipe is probably from the 50s or 60s. That's old. That should have been replaced a while ago. This whole area is full of rust. That little culvert here goes under the parking lot and leads to that stream. This little stream here, you see there's a lot of rust. And the signs say not to play in it or drink it. I was just looking on Google Maps and where this thing originates from is an airport. So there might be other things in it like PFAS, that firefighting foam that a lot of areas around the country are having problems with because it pollutes drinking water. It might have that kind of stuff in it. Who knows? I'm not going to drink it. It's not as orange down here because the water's moving faster. But if you look at the more stagnant areas, you start to see the bright orange areas. Like right down here. Someone made a little dam there with rocks. Or the park maybe did it to slow the water down under the bridge. That bridge looks like it's going to fail soon. Look at the main support. It has a bunch of rot. And by the looks of it, when the water is higher, it's probably sitting right in it. Very orange here. Even if this bridge did collapse, it's only going to fall like a foot. Whatever contamination might be in this river doesn't seem to affect the farm. After it leaves the park, it goes through a little farm, through an animal enclosure. It doesn't seem to affect them. I bought these boots here so I could go in deeper water. They're about two and a half feet tall. Looks right around here to a bolt. This part here seems to fail. If you go for a long walk, it slips. But they've been working pretty good. I bought them on eBay for 40 bucks. And the bottom is really good, really bouncy when you're walking on pavement. It's got good soles. Except my only issue is they both have this little string sticking out. You see this right here? It's a little string. Water can get into the back of the heel. It doesn't leak into the boot, but it gets inside of the heel. So I think that'll cause failure after a while. And also because water gets in there, when you walk, you can hear the water squeezing in and out. 
making a squeaking sound. I used to come to this little park when I was little and it was awesome. They used to have these mountain goats in this enclosure. They got rid of them for some reason where the stream runs, but they had them for a while. These mountain goats used to love going up on this hill. You see that steep? But they since got rid of them. See down there the fence looks like it's about to collapse because there's a bunch of junk built up against it that the river pushed. It looks like the farmer put a bunch of rebar in the bottom of the fence sticking into the ground to keep the goats out. But because it's not being maintained it just caught a bunch of debris and dragged the fence down. I just went up the stream to another culvert that's about one mile up and it's still bright orange. I don't know what the source is. I think the ground is just rich in iron.